My name is Elisa Robles Escajeda. I'm from the University of Texas at El Paso. And I'm going to present a project entitled JAK1 Acute Lymphoblastic Leukemia Mutation Dominantly Impaired Status in Phosphorylation. Overactive gynos kinases are known to drive leukemia, making them relevant targets for treatment. Using collection sequence, a novel mutation of the B66 residue was detected within the pseudokinase domain of JAK1 from a Hispanic ALL patient from the UTEP bio repository. Here below, you can see the linear representation of JAK1 with a model of the pseudokinase in orange color and the kinase domain in blue. Also, you can see the lo location of the novel mutation. To start the characterization of the, these mutations, first kinase assays were done. These were done to assess the arrow activation. And here you can see first total cellulases were collected of uh, or uh, transfections of uh, not transfected cells, wall type, kinase that, that is analyzing to alanine, and also is going to be our control and our novel mutation B666. The results for this kinase assay when they were used with ATP to see the activation where that JAK1 B66 mutation led to underactivation seen by reduced phosphorylation. Similarly, uh, the phosphorylation of uh, this mutation and also the kinase that were, was evaluated. Uh, uh, for these experiments, uh, U4C cells were used and uh, for uh, transfection with uh, JAK1, also with transfection of uh, the kinase dead and uh, with the transfection of uh, our mutation. Here you can see that is a, um, a diminution of the phosphorylation with the kinase dead and also with our mutation. And uh, the total cellulite of this experiment, because this experiment was an IAP, um, the total cellulite was collected and was uh, uh, evaluated for the phos uh, phosphorylation of STAT5. That is the substrate of uh, JAK1. The results from this experiment is that, uh, that this mutation led to underactivation seen by reduced phosphorylation as well. When uh, continue with the experiments, we can see uh, different constructs were done. Um, expression in these experiments, um, wall type JAK1, JAK2, and JAK3. Uh, JAK2 is not, uh, is not seen here, but um, the result from this experiment is that the JAK1 mut uh, B666 mutation, our mutation, is not phosphorylated by uh, neither by JAK1 JAK2 or uh, JAK3. But uh, these experiments demonstrate that uh, wild type JAK1 and JAK3 express without a partner JAK1 MIC construct were, were capable of auto activation. You can see this in the red uh, um, rectangles. Also, uh, very interesting is that uh, our mutation B666 inhibits, inhibits cross activation of partner JAK1 and JAK3. You can see that in the red arrows compared with the with the with the results that are on the on the left. Um, the next experiments that were done were uh, cells expressing the IL2 signaling components, including overexpressed JAK1 and JAK3. These uh, were IP and, uh, and uh, tested for tyrosine uh, phosphorylation. This is was to evaluate the behavior of the mutation between all the IL2 signaling uh, pathway. Also, the um, the total cellulite was evaluated for a STAT5 uh, phosphorylation. And the results of these experiments are that JAK1 B666 inhibits transactivation of JAK3 in the IL2 signaling pathway. 
you can see that exclusively here with this uh, red arrow. Finally, it's worth mentioned that this novel mutation is conserved among various pseudokinase, which may indicate a universal mechanism of regulated, regulating kinase activity. Thank you.